The Olympics 2020 are almost here and we will bring you an inside look on all the Latinos that will be participating and winning those golds. I'm Nastasia Olivar and this is the Latinx Now Breakdown. Let's begin with the track and field athlete of Puerto Rican descent, Jasmine Camacho Quinn. This track star made her Olympic debut in Rio in 2016 when she was only 19 years old. But she was disqualified for a tiny little mistake. In Rio, she tripped over the hurdles and now she considers Tokyo her road to redemption. And redemption it will be because you will win that goal. And now let's make our way from Puerto Rico to Colombia to meet the BMX cyclist Mariana Pajon Londoño, AKA the Golden Girl. No, but for real. She's a golden girl. She's a 29-year-old two-time Olympic champion that won gold in London in 2012 and in Rio in 2016. And the public has high expectations for her presentation in Tokyo 2020. Do you know that there's a BMX track in her name in Medellin? Mm -hmm. Well, now you know. Another BMXer who makes our list of stars to look out for is Mariana Pajon's husband, Vincent Pollard. He's a BMXer of French descent, and after his wedding with Mariana in 2017, he nationalized as Colombian and will represent Colombia with his wifey. Colombia will bring the romance and the adrenaline to the Olympic Games 2020. Next up is Catherine Ibarguin from Colombia. The 35-year-old athlete shined bright in the Olympics in Rio 2016, where she won gold thanks to her speciality in long jump, high jump, and triple jump but her competition is right next to her in Venezuela with Yulimar Rojas. Let the games begin! Yulimar started playing volleyball, but her talent was as a triple jumper because she just broke a World Guinness record for the farthest triple jump and received a trophy for the best Iberoamerican athlete straight from the hands of the king and queen of Spain. Ole! Jump for the gold! Now we're leaving Venezuela to make our way to Chile to introduce a category that will debut for the first time in the list of Olympic sports. Ready? Skateboarding. And in this category, we'll find Chilean skateboarder Josefina Tapia. At 18 years old, Josefina will be the only representative for the country in the category Skateboarding Park. Skateboarding her way into the history books. You guys can't see my feet. I am not surfing. I am skateboarding. Another athlete that is no stranger to making history is the Mexican gymnast Alexa Moreno, who participated in Rio 2016 and in the World Artistic Gymnastics Championship in Doha in 2018, where she won Mexico's first ever gymnastic medal. She won bronze and shared the podium with Simone Biles and Shallon Olsen. A second athlete that is ready to make Mexico shine is diver Randall Willers, who will be participating in his very first Olympic Games, but already has many medals around his neck. At the age of 16, he won the gold medal in the Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And now at 19, he becomes a promise in bringing Mexico the gold medal for Olympic diving. No pressure at all, Randall. No pressure. Moving on to another sport, but not another country, we have Briseida Acosta, the Mexican Taekwondo athlete, started competing professionally at the age of 19. And now, at 27, she's making her way to her first Olympics. Her perseverance has earned her two medals from the World Taekwondo Championships. And let's see if in these Olympic Games, she can conquer her first Olympic win. Definitely, there's no age for Olympic winners. I mean, you can't be five, but there's no age. In the Caribbean, we have Luelin Santos representing the Dominican Republic. During his humble beginnings, a 28-year-old track and field athlete used to compete without shoes, but his talent got recognized by the world when at 18 years old, he won a silver at the London Olympics in 2012. Santos often competes with his brother Juander, but Juander this year didn't make the cut for the Olympics 2020. Next up is a 20-year-old sprinter Alexander Ogando. He is also representing the Dominican Republic and will make his Olympic debut in Tokyo. Boop, boop. Debut, debut in Tokyo. Despite this being his first Olympics, Alexander already has plenty of international experience. He has done nine international races in the last few years and has taken home a handful of medals. You know, just a handful. Just, just. And now meet Mari Lady Paulino. This 24-year-old is another sprinter that will represent the Dominican Republic in her Olympic debut. 
She won a gold medal in the Iber-American Games this year and in the National Athletic Championship in Colombia. Medals, 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 but none in the Olympics yet. From land to sea, who else than Mexican superstar Demita Vega? This will be her third time at the Olympics and is on her way to prove that third time's a charm. The 38-year-old sailor was the first person in the world to sail around the island of Cozumel, Mexico, and now dreams about winning her first Olympic medal. Fun fact, this 38-year-old sailor was the first person to sail around the island of Cozumel, Mexico. And from Mexico, let's head to Argentina with Santiago Lange. At 59 years old, yes, 59, you heard right. The sailor participated in the Olympic Games for the first time in 1988, and Tokyo 2020 marks his sixth Olympic participation. In 2016, he was named Sailor of the Year by World Sailing, and as a fun fact, I'll have you know that sailing is a family affair because his two sons, Yago and Klaus, are also Olympic sailors. Runs in the blood. It's cool, right? Another Olympic old-timer is hammer thrower Jennifer Dalgan. This Argentinian won bronze in the Pan American Games in 2007, and this will be her fifth Olympic participation. And supposedly her last, so don't miss her. But let's keep going. Have you guys heard of the phrase legends in the making? Well, Adriana Diaz is a Puerto Rican table tennis player that has been competing since she was six years old and who became the first one to represent La Isla del Encanto in the Olympic Games after winning her gold medal in the U.S. Open in 2016. But get this. Table tennis runs in the Diaz bloodline because Adriana will be accompanied by her sister, Melanie Diaz, who was also Latin American sub-champion in the year 2016. They will become the first sisters to compete in the Olympic Games table tennis modality. We will be paying attention to the Williams sisters of table tennis, AKA Diaz sisters. All right, friends, I hope you all have written down these names. I know there were a lot, but take notes because when you see them on the podium of winners, you guys have to be like, yeah! Those are our Latinos, and you heard it first on Latinx Now's Breakdown. This will be all, so just keep a lookout on them to shine bright in Tokyo. I'm Nastasha Oliva, and this is Latinx Now's Breakdown. Ciao for now. Go for the gold! No te vayas, ¿te gustó el clip? Entonces suscríbete para seguir riendo y jugando con nosotras. Aquí la pasamos espectacular y obviamente hablamos de todas las noticias del mundo Latinx y lo más trendy. Entonces dale click y no te pierdas nada de Latinx Now. Ahí está, click, suscríbete, like, comment, click, click, all click, la campanita, all dale. <laughs> you got us.